My camera's gonna die, I gotta go fast. Yeah, I just wanna go with the good dude. Today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. Um, I decided to put all my shit in a drawer and I've gotten a lot of makeup recently because I have a problem. Um, my brother's friend is in the next room. I really hope he hears me filming this video. <laughs> also, if you guys want a tutorial on this look, please let me know in the comments below. This is my natural everyday look and I actually use the Essence Pure Nude and look at my nose. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, okay, <laughs> we got so much to go through. I'm so pumped. My last package came today of the shit that I ordered. Let's get popping. Um, so I ordered three palettes in the past like two days. Um, <laughs> I ordered the Subculture palette by Anastasia, which if you haven't seen my review on that, that went up on Wednesday. It'll be up here. Fucking hate the palette. I returned it. And instead, I'm going to be getting the Matte Spectrum palette by Zoeva. They have very sm... Why is there a white van pulling into my driveway? So I returned that. I'm going to be getting the Matte Spectrum palette by Zoeva because that's supposed to be really good. Rachel Cantu said that she liked it, so bitch, I'm, I'm about to get it. And also, they have really similar colors in them, so... Anyway, Besides that, I haven't ordered it yet. I have the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna be doing a weird look Wednesday on this soon, but this is what the palette looks like. I love all the bright colors. I also like these are so pigmented. Okay, that kind of looks like My Little Pony period blood. This is totally coming out of Pinkie Pie's vagina right now, is it not? Ooh, now I don't think I can ever use that shade again. Okay. <laughs> um, but I have used it before. I actually love it. I love Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I think they work really well. Then I got the Malibu palette by Lorac. When I ordered this, I was sure that Lorac was cruelty free, but since then I've heard mixed reviews and I don't think I'm going to be buying from Lorac until they decide to like come out and say we're cruelty free rather than people having to email them and stuff. But I really like this palette. Definitely like a nice natural everyday palette. This is supposed to be a highlighter and this is supposed to be a bronzer, but I'm just going to use them both as eyeshadows. I might use Afternoon Rosé, the highlighter shade, but I don't think I'm ever going to use this as a bronzer. But anyways, fuck, I've already been talking for five minutes. Minutes. Then I have this bucket of things and these things were sent to me. If you guys don't know, I work with Octoly and Octoly is a little, it's a kind of, it's an app and a website. It's a program basically where if you have a specific and num, an, mm -hmm. <laughs> Really. If you have a specific number of followers on Instagram or YouTube, then you can sign up to get free products. The only catch is that you need to review them. Um, I'm not going to be reviewing these here, but I just wanted to show you that I got them. So Koki did send over a few of their color correctors. They were super sweet. They even wrote me a note. Usually when people send things through Octoly, they just say like, thanks for using our products. Bye. But they actually said like, hi, Annika, whatever. And I actually have tried these out so I can give you a little review. I love these. I think they're super pigmented, but not so pigmented that they're like impossible to cover or anything. There's the orange one. I got the yellow one. I know yellow goes under your eyes. Purple is for dullness and green is for redness, but I'm not sure what peach is. I think peach might do the same thing as yellow, but for darker skin tones. And speaking of color correctors, Essence sent me a few of their color correcting sticks. I'm really fucking tired. I hate my life. My hair is greasy. Love my life. So yeah, I got a bunch of these. They actually included a light pink one too, which is the tone up effect. But essentially these are just like little sticks they're really creamy. I like how they're not like hard to blend or anything and they are twist up which I appreciate. So yeah I got those two sets of color characters. Essence also sent me a bunch of their other products including their all about nudes palette. I'm all about nudes. HBU. It looks like this. Haven't used it yet. I wanted to save it. I don't know. And they're all about roses palette. I have personally purchased their all about vintage palette so I'm excited to have more in the series. Um, they also sent me um, one of their lip liners. My card just ran out of memory. Okay, wait. The lip liner was in the shade 06, A Girl's Dream. These look really creamy. I haven't tried them out yet, though. And then they sent me their Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara. I have tried this, and I fucking love it. It's the mascara I'm wearing on my eyes today. They sent me a pack of these two, and then they sent me another one of these. So I haven't tried this one specifically. I might, like, pass this along to a friend or something. But I have tried this, and I really like it. And then they also sent me the I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And I like this as well. I haven't tried it as much, but I still fucking like it. Um, then Essence sent me one last thing. This is their Kajal pencil in the shade 01 Black. This is just like a cold pencil. And then the last thing that was sent to me through Octoly is this Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. And I got the shade Honey. The reason why I wanted to order this on Octoly is because I did recently get this thing from Milani, which is supposed to be a dupe. I wanted to do a video on it, but I feel like it's just like not enough to do a whole video on it. So I'm just gonna do it here. I love both of these, but I feel like the Clarins one is a little bit more long-lasting than the Milani one. But I'm pretty sure you get more product in the Milani one. Fuck. 
you get the same amount of product, whatever. It just kind of depends, like do you want cheaper or more long lasting? It's up to you. But while I'm at it, I also got this Milani one, but I did buy this with my own money. My makeup table is nice and clean now. So now moving on to more shit that I bought. I got this Wet n Wild um, like Kabuki brush from their cute little summer collection thing. I wanted this for powder because all of my brushes have been tarnished with foundation. Like all my brushes like, I'm gonna use this for powder. I end up using them for foundation and then they just get fucked up so or with bronzer like I just I don't know they always get fucked up but this one I'm just trying to keep for only fucking powder I also got the NYX Honey Do Me Up primer this was so expensive it was 18 bucks but it's so extra it has fucking gold flakes in it it's actually pretty good it makes my makeup last a little bit longer but it just makes my foundation go on so nice so then I went to Sephora and I literally spent zero dollars but I got two things so I spent my points on this Urban Decay setting spray set I kept it in the bag because the bag is so fucking cute. Honestly, it has a fucking like zip that I can't open, but it comes with their quick fix mist and their all-nighter setting spray, which I was really excited about. But this was 250 points. If they still have this available, I recommend you get it because 250 points is not a lot of points, especially for like getting this. This is one of their like good rewards. And then I also got a sample of the Urban Decay All-Nighter Foundation in the shade 0.4. 4.0. You just ask, you can just say like, hey, can I have a sample of this? You can also do it with perfumes, anything else that's kind of like liquidy. You can't do it for powders and you can't do it for like concealers that have wands. So yeah, I can't wait to try this out. I haven't tried it out yet, but it's supposed to be really good. So next I got the NYX HD finishing powder. I got the banana one. This is fucking Come. Pressed semen. So fucking good. So fucking good. So as you guys know, all my pressed powders that I had an emotional attachment to were not cruelty free, such as the Rimmel one, the Tony Moly one, the Fit Me one. Not cruelty free, but this is cruelty free. And it's so good. For a powder, it's actually really pigmented and it keeps your makeup on all day. I don't know what else like you want in a powder, but it also like doesn't leave a white cast. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's a good powder. Then I got two of these Wet n Wild sticks. I have their highlighting stick that I got a while ago, but I got their concealer stick and their contour stick. The concealer stick is in the shade Nude for Thought. <laughs> Send nudes. Um, and then the contour stick is in Oaks on You. <laughs> Got them. Um, yeah, these are just their like, what are these called? Mega glow sticks? Mega glow makeup sticks. Then I got more stuff. I got this NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Monte Carlo. I used this in a tutorial on my makeup account on Instagram. If you guys don't follow that, you need to fucking follow it. I've decided that I'm going to move my fruit series over to my Instagram account. So if you want to keep watching my fruit series, I recommend that you go follow it. It's on a caked face. It'll be on the screen in the description and at the end of all my videos. Go follow it. I'm almost at 3K and I'm really excited about that. But I've tried this out. I already know that I love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I was just really surprised because I've only tried like the matte, not, I've, I've only tried the nude shade so I was excited that I liked like, this is good. And I got the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner and that is in the shade Junk Show. I don't have any pink glitter, loose glitters or glitter liners so I decided to get this because I really really like their gold one in Midnight Cowboy. I haven't tried this out yet but I have high expectations because I really like the Midnight Cowboy one so yeah. And then I got the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Why the fuck would you use this on your eyelashes? Can somebody tell me what's the point of clear mascara? Like I've never used that. Like even as a youngin, even as a fucking fetus, I did not use clear mascara. I never understood it. I use it for my eyebrows like I have the Maybelline Great Lash which isn't that good but this is way fucking better so if you're looking for a cruelty free option for this but you want it to be even better and it's cheaper and it's just like what? Then get the Essence one. Okay and now we're gonna move on to NYX things. I placed an order on the NYX website and I got quite a few things so those will be the last things. First I got this NYX Liquid Crystal Glitter Liner and this is in the shade Crystal Aqua. I have their like warm toned gold one so I wanted to get the blue one because it was on sale and I like them and I don't have any blue glitters. They're pretty pigmented for a drugstore glitter. I have heard some people say that they kind of burn their eyes and they kind of burn my eyes too but it's not like dangerous or nothing like I think it's just like a reaction. I think you're fine. Watch me like fall over and die next week. Okay and then I got two of these NYX Primal Color Face Powders. So these are supposed to be like face powders that you're supposed to- oh they're pressed pigments. They're advertised as face powders so you can do like fun things like fun contours. I'm just gonna use these as eyeshadows. The green one was on sale, so I wanted to pick up the green one, but the black one was just normal price. But it's supposed to be the best black eyeshadow ever, and it is. It literally, okay, literally watch. Literally fucking watch. Okay, first, I love the packaging. The packaging is fucking everything. So 
so fucking pigmented. And girl, you know, I've been on the hunt for the best black eyeshadow in the history of black eyeshadows. This is it, girl. This is it. Your search stops here. Go on to the NYX website. Maybe check your local NYX store. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. So I got those. And then I got three of their high definition blushes. These two were on sale. So I have the shade Double Dare and the shade Tuscan. They look a lot more vibrant on the website. They also look a lot more vibrant on camera. They're like normal colors in real life. So I think I'm just gonna wear these as blushes. Actually, no. I think I can use this as an eyeshadow. My plan was to use them as an eyeshadow in the first place, but then I saw them in real life and I was like, eh, this I'm gonna use as a blush. This I'm gonna use as an eyeshadow. And then I'm also gonna use Crimson as an eyeshadow. And I got this for full price but look how fucking red that is like i like i'm so excited i wanted to use this as an eyeshadow so fucking bad but i think that's it no that's the end of my haul i think that it was a pretty decent sized haul it was pretty collective but if you want me to do more hauls then you should watch my videos so i can get that adsense <laughs> and you should also use my dodo lashes coupon code so i can get that revenue. Hi, I'm on my vlog camera because I totally forgot to give this girl a shout out. I want to shout out Claire, whose Instagram at is Claire Gautro. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying that right, but I just wanted to thank you so much for using my discount code for Dodo Lashes. It's just Annika Osterland. If any of you want a shout out in one of my future videos, use that code and send me a screenshot on any of my Instagram accounts. And yeah, um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe to Medic, and keep on hauling. Also, don't forget to comment down below if you want to see this look. Even if you don't, I'm going to do it anyways. Let's try to get this video to... I don't know how many likes my videos usually get. Let's try to get it to... 1,500 likes. Bye. I will wish you the best, but you already had it. You already...